Mark Zuckerberg comes out in defense of the acquisition of Activision Blizzard by Xbox. And could Xbox be looking into creating a kart racing game? All right, guys, before we get into this, I have four months to hit my goal of 10,000 subscribers. I see a lot of you are new to this channel. If you are, please consider hitting that subscribe button if you enjoy this video. So we know the majority of third parties who have been asked about Xbox's acquisition of Activision Blizzard and what they think about this and how it's going to affect the video game industry. Majority of these third parties have been positive on this deal, not thinking that it is going to be a negative for the gaming industry. The only company that really has been has been Sony. I mean, and that is for good reason on Sony's part, to be completely honest, something that we've talked about multiple times on this channel since they came out with their statements trying to stop the acquisition of Activision Blizzard. They're going to be losing players from their ecosystem going over to Xbox Game Pass. They're going to have to pay revenues to Xbox for every game that Call of Duty sells on PlayStation Network. And all the microtransactions, all of that type of stuff. They have to pay those royalties to Xbox. We saw that they paid about $1.32 billion to Activision Blizzard in the end of fiscal year 2021. So a lot of the money, once this deal does go through, if it goes through, is going to be going over to Xbox, which is just going to be essentially PlayStation funding a lot of Xbox's ecosystem and giving Xbox more money to grow Xbox Game Pass. So there are very, very good reasons why PlayStation wants this deal not to go through. But the thing that they can't argue is that if Call of Duty is an Xbox Game Studios game, it isn't going to hinder the gaming industry in terms of getting this game out to less people. It's going to make this game more accessible to everybody with the technology and the ecosystem that Xbox has. And now we have Meta slash Facebook coming to the defense of Microsoft's acquisition of Activision Blizzard. And they are in the same mind frame that the way that Xbox is going with utilizing the cloud, making gaming accessible, no matter what device you are on, is good for the gaming industry and just opens up the ability for people to play games, opens up the ability for publishers and developers to actually make money and monetize their games with various different models. So first of all, this is what Facebook responded when the Brazilian Authority Committee, Cade, came to them and asked them what their thoughts on this deal was. And they say that they defended the acquisition of Activision Blizzard by Microsoft by saying it does not believe a segmentation of the development and publishing of electronic games by platform and hardware is appropriate. And that's something that we've discussed multiple times. This is one of the main things that makes no sense that Sony is trying to stop this deal because we know that if they were to get Activision Blizzard, they would definitely be cutting off these games and they would only be accessible within the PlayStation 5, the PlayStation 4, and they wouldn't be able to be played by multiple people on your tablet, on your phone, on your internet browser, all that type of stuff. They believe that Microsoft's approach with cloud computing enabling users to stream digital games on any internet connected device will mitigate the boundaries between platforms. That's a very obvious point. And they say that the barriers to market entry are generally low in any scenario. App shop models on all platforms have led to an increase in the number of newly published digital games. As developers no longer need to organize their distribution, there are always a wide variety of APIs, SDKs, and other resources offered free of charge to developers by companies such as Meta, Microsoft, Apple, Google, Amazon, etc. That makes it easier to create new games and features. And I think Xbox is pretty good at supporting more new games, more new developers, indie developers with their ID at Xbox stuff, providing them with these SDKs and highlighting the products and games that they are making with the showcases that they are doing. There's actually an ID at Xbox coming up this week, which will see a bunch of other ID indie games coming over to Xbox and to potentially Xbox Game Pass. They go on to say here that the rise of cloud computing has enabled users to stream and upload cloud operated digital games on any device that it is connected to the internet, which further mitigates the boundaries between platforms, the emergence of different business models in games, including the traditional licensing model, in-app purchase model, the subscription based model, and the free to play ad supported model also gave developers more options to monetize further promoting the reduction of barriers to entry and allowing developers to bring their content to the market in the most efficient way, both for them and their users. So everything Meta touches on here is basically saying that the Xbox ecosystem, what they're trying to do, opening up their system to as many people 
giving all of these tools for developers to be able to monetize and make games and get them onto the platform and have more people discover them that, that would have never discovered them otherwise is a good thing for gaming. And I think that's a very, very obvious point, which is very interesting because again, it's only Sony that came out against the Activision Blizzard deal so far that we know of. But Meta and Facebook, I mean, they are kind of trying to go along this same way when it comes to gaming in terms of utilizing cloud gaming, utilizing, they're gonna be going forward into the metaverse to try to expand their reach to as many people as possible. And they're gonna be implementing a lot of gaming stuff in that there is Facebook gaming. We know that they are actually shutting down the Facebook gaming app, that's going away, but you're still gonna be able to access Facebook gaming, I believe through the Facebook app. And if you just log into Facebook on the browser, so they still have their own direction, their own strategy and their own stuff that they need to do within the gaming sector. But Mark Zuckerberg came out here, defended Microsoft for this acquisition. And maybe he's sitting back and thinking, hey, we can't compete with Microsoft. We can't compete in what they are doing. They're just way too big right now within the gaming industry with the amount of money that they're backed by with Microsoft, with how Xbox Game Pass is growing. They have xCloud and they have Azure, which is gonna be the premier place for cloud gaming going forward. But hey, well, we're gonna support this deal because maybe at some point in the future, we can continue to do business with them. We can continue to partner with them. We know that when Mixer closed down, Xbox actually partnered with Facebook Gaming. Or on the other side of things, they're just being logical and looking at this and saying, this isn't the way that Sony is making it out to be. This is actually a good thing for the gaming industry. So there's a rumor floating around that has again been started here via the Xbox Air podcast in their rumor mill segment from Special Nick. And he's saying that he has heard that a Sobo studio is prototyping a racing game for Xbox and that it could be a kart racer. Now, I don't have the check record of Special Nick, but if I go down here into the comments, there's a lot of people saying he is always wrong on a lot of these rumors. I don't have that type of information. So definitely take this rumor with a grain of salt. But the prospect of a kart racer being developed for Xbox, I think is something that a lot of people would love to see. A lot of people have thought about could be a great idea. I would say a kart racer and a brawler with all of the characters that Xbox now has under their hood would be something that would be really, really cool to see. Kart racing is a genre that I absolutely love. I absolutely love Mario Kart. I like Crash Team Racing. The Sonic Kart Racing, Sonic All-Star Racing, and Sonic Team Racing, or Team Sonic Racing, whatever it's called. Those are great games as well. Really enjoyed those. And then we saw on the weekend at the Disney and Marvel Showcase, this game here that is coming out called Speedstorm, which is gonna have all of the Disney characters within it, and it's gonna be a kart racing game. And I think from the gameplay that they showed off here, it looks like a ton of fun. And the first thing I thought about when they showed off this game is, man, it'd be really cool if Xbox were able to make a kart racing game with just all of the Xbox characters that they have. And I think it would be something people would love to play. You throw it into Xbox Game Pass, you have great online features, and you would have a ton of people jumping into this day one. I think it would be a really, really good idea. So I do hope that this rumor here is true and it, it's again it's just a rumor just something that he has heard but he also calls this out here where somebody is rolling around with rumors saying that microsoft xbox will acquire a sobo makers of microsoft flight simulator and plague tale directly after they finish acquiring activision blizzard they are currently making an xbox exclusive racing game that is i'm pretty sure it's just something completely made up by this account here because he tweets this out oh wow so now someone is taking my rumor tacking on an acquisition to it and claiming it as their own that's a new one so take all the stuff with a grain of salt but i do think a kart racing game would be an absolutely great idea for xbox game studios to look into and to put out but that's it for me guys let me know your thoughts on meta's comments on the activision blizzard acquisition and would you like to see a kart racing game come from xbox if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new here and you liked what you saw consider hitting that subscribe button thank you all for watching thank you for your support and i'll catch you in the next video